Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We're in James chapter 3, verse 10, Romans chapter 5, verse 18, and Acts chapter 4, verse 8. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Thank you for blessing us and helping us to have the words to say, Lord God. We love you. We thank you for all you've done. You know that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Help us to hear so that we can continue in faith. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, James chapter three, verse 10. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brother, these things ought not to be so. All right. And so this is speaking about the fact that, you know, the tongue is such a, a, a thing of the body. Um, it looks small, but it has vast repercussions, right? It says from the same mouth come blessing and cursing. So this is not something that is one way street, right? Um, it says, my brother, these things are not to be so. Why? Because you should not be pouring out good and bad from the same water source, right? If you are connected to a water source, you are of that water source. And to have both means that the house will not stand, right? And so we need to be careful in these hours to um, bridle our tongue. How do you bridle your tongue? We haven't talked about this in a little while, but remember the bridling of the tongue occurs when you are um, filtering what is coming in through your ear gate, filtering what's coming in through your eye gate and not allowing all the junk into your heart, right? And so when you have all these things in your heart, and you have this good and you have this bad, that's a house divided, right? And it cannot stand. And so we need to have good in our heart. And that comes from pouring good in your heart, right? How do you pour good in your heart? Through your ear gate, through your eye gate, right? And so as you chew on these things that are good, listen to these things that are good, um, fill your heart up with joy and singing and laughter um, and, and the things that are heavenly things, thinking on the city to come and not on this, not just on this city, right? Thinking of the things that are good, pure, noble, trustworthy, of good report, you know, um, what things are lovely, right? Um, you, as you fill your heart up with all this stuff, it, you're going to have the blessing coming from your mouth, right? Because you're overflowing with the love of God. You're overflowing with goodness. And so it says, from the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brother, these things are not to be so. So we need to choose a side and stick to it, right? And, and the only side is Christ Jesus. That's the only way to eternal life. So that's the way we need to be about. So um, the next verse, Romans chapter five, verse 18. Therefore, as one trespass led to condemnation for all men, so one act of righteousness leads to justification in life for all men. So Christ justified us. Um, Christ is the one who, who caused us to, to no longer be under that condemnation of sin, but instead a transfer has taken place and his innocence was imparted on us as justification, right? By his blood, we gave him our sin. He gave us his innocence and we are now covered by the blood of Christ. When God sees us, he sees that innocent blood of Christ. And so um, we are, are, not any more led 
to condemnation, right? Because we have our sin debt has been paid. It says, therefore, as one trespass led to condemnation for all men, that's what we were a part of until Christ came in and died. And it says, so one act of righteousness leads to justification and life for all men. So, you know, Adam, you know, his, his one sin messed it up for everybody, right? But, right, that same one um, act of righteousness of Christ dying for us, that one act caused all of it to be um, absolved, caused all of it to be atoned for, right? All we have to do is accept it, right? All we have to do is accept it. One righteous action and one trespass, right? That That's powerful. And so it says, therefore, as one trespass led to the condemnation of all, for all men, so one act of righteousness leads to justification in life for all men, and and we know that you know as we know this um we need to share this we need to tell other people about that why because they are in that trespass that leads to condemnation section right there are so many more people in that than there are people um who have who have been justified so we need to go forth and tell people about Christ um it says therefore as one trespass led to condemnation for all men right there is not going to be any partiality in god he's not going to let anybody you know um uh buy right he everyone needs to come through christ there is no partiality there's no favorites it's all about Christ. You have to come by the way of Christ. And so um, Acts chapter four, verse eight, then Peter filled with the Holy Spirit said to them, rulers of the people and elders. So this was after a great and mighty miracle, the miracle at the gate called beautiful. And so Peter and John are having to give an explanation for whose name they are preaching in and what are they, what happened? What, what do they do? And so um, we know that Peter and John um, were filled with the Holy Spirit. So number one, we need to be under the unction of the Holy Spirit when God is telling us to minister. But another thing is that we don't need to allow that cursing to come from our mouth, but instead blessing, right? Just because you know someone has done wrong or is doing wrong does not mean that this is your chance to point it out, right? This is your chance to to condemn them. Uh, this is your chance to, to put them down. No, we operate by love. Faith work is by love. And so from the same mouth come blessing and cursing. You need to be about that blessing life, right? It says, my brother, these things are not to be so. This should not be so because our heart should be filled with the love of Christ. Our hearts and our actions and our motives are all from a basis of the love of Christ. Why? Because he has justified us. He has justified us. So now we owe this debt to the spirit to, to lay down our lives as servants, right? To, to walk by the spirit of God and not by our flesh. And so as we are doing that, we need to be led by the spirit. As he tells us to talk to people, we need to do our best. Listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Be ready to give an account for the hope that you have. Um, Peter and John were ready, right? They were ready right then if they needed to die they were ready and so they gave an account to the councils and you know they had to stand up for what was right they were filled with the holy spirit that means the holy spirit was leading them and guiding them into all truth as they spoke right they weren't speaking condemnation to those people now they told them you know that they that they had crucified christ but he was just stating that as a fact right but but he was ready there with love and forgiveness and redemption which christ was offering and so it says then peter filled with the holy spirit said to them 
rulers of the people and elders. Wow. So that was a powerful moment. It was ushered in by the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit had not been the one to do it, then all of those people would not have been saved. There were thousands of people who were saved at that incident. And so um, also they had the boldness that they needed. And, and they also were, you know, um, willing to take a stand for righteousness. Remember they, they stood up, even though the council was saying, you can't preach in that name. They still, you know, knew that their account was going to have to be to God and not to man. And so we have to take a stand. We have to be filled with the Holy spirit, be ready to give an account, be ready to give, a uh, um, testify of why we have the hope that we have um and we need to realize what it is that we're preaching this one act of sin led to everyone having sin right but that one act of righteousness through Christ Jesus has allowed the justification and life for all men we need that and we need to tell people that they need Christ. Blessing and cursing should not be flowing from our lips. It should be the blessing of the gospel. It should be the blessing of the people, right? Not the condemnation of the people. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Thank you for justification, holiness, we love you. We give you glory and honor. Forgive us for all of our sins. Help us to walk in righteousness, Lord God. Help us to deliver your word the way that you want it to be delivered, God. Help us to bless people and not curse them. Help us to not be people who condemn others, but people who lead to righteousness, which is in Christ Jesus. Lord God, help us to be ready to give an account for the hope that we have. Be ready to speak the words that you give us. Lord God, help us to stay built up in our most holy faith, ready for those moments. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, um, if you, there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Um, if there is anybody out there um, who would like to rededicate your heart to the Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Lord Jesus. Forgive me for my sins. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Jesus, forgive me for all of my sins. Help me as I go forth in you, Jesus. You see where I went wrong. You see where I took you off the throne of my heart, God. Forgive me for that. Help me to get back on right track. Lord Jesus, show me the way. Lord God, help me to not focus on just myself. Help me to hear your voice. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right, you guys. If you have prayed those prayers and you believe those prayers, then Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus when he comes to redeem his church. Um, Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth. And he's going to do just that. Amen. Um, one of the things that Christ wanted us to do and not forsake was the fellowshipping of ourselves one to another. 
Go out, find a church home, find other believers to be around so that you can stay sharp in the word of God, as well as go out and tell other people about Christ and what he's done for you in your life. Amen. All right, you guys be blessed and take care. And don't forget to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. All right, you guys take care.